A bold plan unveiled by Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward and Catholic Charities to move the House of Charity out of downtown and help businesses thrive has gone nowhere since the announcement 10 months ago. We're excited to announce that the city has formalized a partnership with Catholic Charities to pursue a new permanent shelter campus that would relocate the House of Charity out of downtown. Well, that was the promise made last spring by Mayor Woodward, but tonight the House of Charity is nowhere close to being moved. Good evening, I'm Kirsten O'Connor. As the mayor prepares for her State of the City address tomorrow, we asked her today what happened to the plan for House of Charity 2.0. Our Jordan Smith is at the House of Charity tonight. And Jordan, what are the city and Catholic Charities saying about this plan? Well, Kirsten, I asked uh, Mayor Woodward and Catholic Charities, where does this project stand today? And as of tonight, this shelter here behind me in the downtown area is poised to remain here, at least for the foreseeable future. The announcement to relocate the House of Charity homeless shelter came as major news during last year's State of the City address. The shelter currently located just blocks away from downtown businesses. We've uh, spent a lot of time working on that plan. That was a big announcement. But the most immediate question was where would the shelter be moved to? A question that never received an answer from Catholic Charity CEO Rob McCann. The biggest question we have to ask is where? Where is it? I'm not going to answer that question. Fast forward to today and it still remains unanswered. We looked at a number of locations outside of downtown that just didn't work. I'll just tell you Locating a, a shelter is, is probably the most difficult work that you can do. Finding a three-acre lot to house up to 150 people remains an immense hurdle for both Catholic Charities and the city, particularly with neighborhoods vocalizing their opposition to relocating near them. I sat down with Catholic Charities to learn what they need to be operational at a new location. That includes a site that, that has the correct you know, amenities that surround it, a site that's the right size. Um, a site that has great transportation access uh, for the people that might be accessing um, that location. I asked if they were close to zeroing in on any one location. He tells me they're keeping their options wide open. But as they wait for a location, the intersect of public safety and homelessness remains a challenge for businesses downtown. What we hear from businesses is, you know, while they are working in earnest to make a comeback, put the pandemic in the rearview mirror, there are concerns about what is happening on the streets. Public safety continues to be a top element, a top, you know, top of mind concern. The city is committed to addressing those concerns as they wait for a new shelter location, doubling the amount of officers at the downtown precinct, and they're working to create a regional homeless authority. But until they can find that new location, the shelter is poised to remain here, and there's no timeline as to when that might change. And Kirsten, as you mentioned it at the top of the show, Mayor Nadine Woodward is just 24 hours out from delivering her annual State of the City address, where she plans to emphasize their mission of public safety and what we can expect moving forward as they continue to battle homelessness here in Spokane. Reporting in downtown tonight, I'm Jordan Smith for News Now.